Hi everybody, this is Carrie, and uh, I just saw a video by Hyunwoo Sun, who uh, was talking about being a vegetarian in Korea, and I figured since I've been a non-meat eater for about six years, and living in Korea for two of those years, that uh, I would share with you guys some of my thoughts about being a vegetarian in Korea. So, um, first of all, I should probably explain a little bit about why I'm a vegetarian, and the first reason is that uh, animals are my friends, and that's basically the biggest reason. So we can talk about that in another video. But um, as far as actually ordering food and living a normal life in Korea, I think it's more useful to say um, bibimbap, like ordering bibimbap or something, and then just saying kogi bagel juseo, which means just take the meat out. Because I've tried to say chesik juicho, which means I'm a vegetarian, and I find that most people don't really know at all what that means, and they'll just look at me like, huh? And I'll say. Uh, and they'll be like, ah! So, it just kind of makes everybody angry and uncomfortable. So it's much easier to just order the food that you want and ask for the meat to be taken out. Or, if you don't eat seafood, you can say, Hemur bagel juseo, which means take out the seafood. So, um, that's something I do. Or, um, if that doesn't work, you can always say, Kogi anmogo, which means I don't eat meat. Or you can say, Hemur anmogo. Mogo yo. You should probably put the yo on the end of your being a plate. So yeah, kogi an mogo yo, hemul an mogo yo. Okay. Um, and one last thing is, uh, everybody always wants to go out for galbi. It's such a staple food for foreigners going out in Korea. So uh, if you're vegetarian and you're going out for a galbi dinner, you probably think you know there's nothing you can eat. But the beautiful thing is that you can eat all this beautiful pantan, the side dishes. Um, there's always tofu side dishes and um, chili peppers and different kinds of kimchi and beans and uh, sesame leaves. So there's always lots of different options for you. And sometimes you can order a duanjang jjigae soup or you can order an extra side of rice or there will be uh, sometimes an egg soup that you can eat. So I think there's lots of different options and overall I think that it's really good good experience to be a vegetarian in Korea because you experiment with so many different other foods that you might not otherwise know about. So that's basically my two cents on the issue and I hope that that helps some of you vegetarians thinking about going to Korea.